Hi there. <laughs> I haven't uh, recorded in a while because I have had a lot going on for quite some time, almost over a month. I was laid up because I hurt my back. So, but I'm I'm good now. Uh, it was just a temporary strain on the disc and that kind of thing, and uh, and the doctor put me on some neuro neuropathy medication. So it's good now. Anyway. <laughs> So after that got better, I, I got active again, as you can see. I stained the back deck. I don't think I took a picture of that. And I did a lot of gardening work. And what else? I don't know. A whole bunch of crap. Been out on the bike a little bit more and taking some fall pictures. And we've had a, a very nice fall so far. It's been really quite beautiful. Most of the time in this area, we, uh, we go from summer to winter. <coughs> and there's maybe three or four days of fall, and that's it. But we've gotten it almost a month with decent fall weather, so that's nice. Um, there's been a lot of anti-vaxxer um, stuff going on in the area. Um, not so much around here, but, you know, protesters um, attacking Rem Remembrance Day ceremonies, and that really bothers me. You know, that's not the place to protest anything, you know, um, regardless of what your opinion is. I mean, I think anti-vaxxers are crazy. How soon we forget things that we've been vaccinated against, had booster shots too, for years. Um, be it suddenly they don't want to get vaccinated against something that's killing people, like by the hundreds. Work out of this, that's my opinion. Um, I have nothing against people protesting something they believe in, even if I don't believe in it, but <laughs> not in a Remembrance Day ceremony. That really bothers me. So that's that's kind of been bugging my butt lately. Um, I'm uh, pretty happy that we're back to choir practice and having a regular choir. It's been good for me. You know, mentally it's good to get out. I'm not a, I'm very introverted, so I don't get out that much, but it is important to socialize, you know, human beings are community beings, and we need each other. And I've been going out a little bit with friends, and, uh, and that kind of stuff, just for coffee, you know, just something quiet, um, and that's been nice. So, yeah, things are pretty good. Mom's doing well, you know, as well as can be expected. Nothing tragic has been happening. Um, I had other bad news in the family. My uh, my younger sister is unfortunately getting a divorce, which was something we didn't expect. But I guess things have been pretty bad the last few years between them. They're just not. I mean, without getting into detail, they're just not getting along. Um, just can't seem to work things out. And uh, that's sad. You know, um, I thought they were good to go. Those two they seem to have a pretty solid marriage, but. Obviously, there were things going on that we didn't know about. It's just sad and un unexpected. But she'll be all right. You know, they're always all right, one way or the other. Um, my nieces, like the family that moved to Sioux Lookout up north, um, that niece, whose husband, recently had his second um, liver transplant. And he's been in the hospital for over a month. And it's been touch and go, and it's, it's scary. Um, this one seems to be doing well. I don't know what happened to the first one, whether he just rejected it, or, or from what I understand, it wasn't uh, as viable as they thought. I'm not sure how that works. Um, but, yeah, you know, um, we've been scary, or scared, and scary. <laughs> um, every time the phone rings, we kind of freeze and look at each other like, you know, is this it? But, uh, you know, he's, he's got a lot to live for. You know, we have two children, and, and, uh, but anyways, at that note, we are, we have a GoFundMe page for them, and I'll put a link here. Um, she's up where he is now, which is not even close to where they live. Obviously, you'd be with him. So she's not working, and obviously he's not working. So, uh, but the bill still has to be paid, and they have kids to look after. So, 
and it's been a long time, and it's still going to be a lot longer because he's not over the woods yet. So, um, if you can help, that would be great. I'm trying to drop the link anywhere I can. Um, I'll have to put it on my Twitter and that kind of stuff, too. So, yeah. Some sad things. <laughs> Seems to me every time I do this blog, it's something sad. I'm doing fine. You know, like, I'm, I'm good. You know, um, my life is fine. <laughs> for the most part. It's hard looking after mom. She can be very stubborn and that's tough. And She's 86 now. She's in a lot of pain. So she's often not in the greatest mood. <coughs> and so sometimes when things aren't perfect she gets bitchy. You know. And when you're trying to do so much for her and she gets bitchy you're like really? <laughs> I'll change my whole life for you. Tea leaves. Tea leaves. Okay. Anyways, my battery's about to run out, so I guess we're done here. <laughs> Have a great day. Thanks for watching.